What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the Android server on Angry Gabba's account. This is Lars' old account, but he decided to take a little break from Castle Clash and Gabasaurus took over this account. Now, as you guys know, the Android update did hit today, which is pretty crazy because, man, there is so much stuff that just came to Castle Clash that honestly I didn't even know that was coming. And it seems like a lot of fun. I can't wait to talk about it, the goods and the bads. Now, I am going to be making a collaboration video right after this video that I'd love for you guys to check out it is going to be with the man himself angry sa gamer who is a hilarious castle clash youtuber so you guys are going to want to tune into that no doubt so what this video is going to be about it is going to be about destiny now if you guys don't know you can now get heroes from 12 of 12 to 13 of 13 which is just out of this world crazy and so what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be going over all the basic stats of what are not the basic stats but the skills of what heroes do from 12 12 to 12 to 13 and 13 just because personally i'm very curious and i'm sure you guys are as well so let's go ahead and check out i wanted to show you guys how you get heroes to 13 to 13 first so dove keeper for example you can see this dove keeper is already level 59 of 60 you can now raise your destiny from 40 all the way to 60 which is a huge stat boost i mean I, let me see if we can compare i don't we don't really need to compare but the hp goes up attack crit resist dodge accuracy and crit all that stuff goes up and then when you get to level 59 in order to get to 60 you do need this new resource i mean you guys know igg they're not just gonna be like hey you can use all right no they need to come out with a new resource and guess what guys it'll probably be in the bazaar tomorrow how amazing would it be if igg was finally like you know what we're only gonna hand this reward or these cam these new caramic rock out through gameplay whoever places in the top 100 of squad showdown gets these or something like that That'd be absolutely out of this world fun, but I'm sure these are unfortunately going to be purchasable in the bazaar probably soon to come because everybody's waiting on them. That way they can get the heroes to 13 to 13, right? So that is what you need. You just basically need to upgrade the heroes to 59 then get them to 60 once these new Karamic Rock comes out. Plus, you're also going to need four of that type hero as well, which in my opinion, honestly, isn't that big of a deal because you can just use Fame, right? Fame comes so easy in this game at this point in time that... Even just using the O tablets, I mean, what is that? It's like 6,000 fame in order to get four heroes of any type. So very, very, very easy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into the skills. I'm going to go ahead and skip the new hero because I'm going to make a separate video just talking about this new hero. Also showing off some gameplay. I have no clue what he even does yet, but yeah, he's for the near future. All right, so we'll start out with the man himself, Ripper, who honestly I don't really have that much experience with, but I'm still curious to see what he does from when he goes from 12 to 13. So let's go ahead and boost him up. So he still removes buffs from five random heroes. The attack goes from 1090% to 1160. His effects are still 90% um, of their healing. The dodge is 50%, so that actually does not change as well. Okay, so not that many changes from Ripper besides his actual damage. Let's see what we got from Cosmo. We got one twi- how crazy would that be if it was two Twilight Domes? So it looks like Cosmo just ups Cosmo's attack as well. Let's see, does that go from sick? Yeah, so that stays the same. The cooldown seven seconds. Let's see, 50% of his HP gains 200% attack. Does that change at all? 50%, 200, no, that all stays the exact same. 85% less damage. Okay, so the only thing that's moved on the first two heroes so far is their overall attack, which honestly doesn't really seem like that big of a deal to me, and it's honestly needed as well, because one thing I've noticed with this update is heroes just have so much life from the new breakthrough that nothing can kill certain heroes. It's kind of annoying. It's like you just time out and battles nonstop. So we got deals damage to surrounding. Let's see, we got from four... From 460% of heroes attack plus 12% of targets max HP. Now it's 13% of targets max HP and it's 510%. That is pretty solid. A little bit of an upgrade there. We got restores 30% HP. It stays the same as when it goes to level 13. Plant Warrior, honestly, we don't really care about, but we'll take a quick peek. It ups his attack for sure. It also... They should have basically, I feel like they should have balanced like all the heroes with the skill level 13. Like if the hero sucked in the past, they should have made the skill level 13 like add something completely new. Like imagine if Plant Warrior all of a sudden added, let's just say attack to your entire team or let's just say like an extra speed boost or something like that. That would be a pretty freaking beast. All right, let's keep on rolling. We got Lazulix. What do we got coming from Lazulix? We got... Five seconds for 350, so that changes to 380. The 0.5 seconds, everything else, I believe, 
stays the exact same. Freezes them for two seconds. Yeah, that's saying for 0.5 seconds. The cooldown is seven seconds. And yeah, cooldown stays the same. All right, so Lazulix has more damage as well. Everything's just been a little bit more damage overall. I mean, and we got some other upgrades as well. We got increases this hero's attack from 140% to 160%. Hero also is now going to reflect 65 instead of 60% of all damage incoming in. So that's pretty beast as well. Let's keep on rolling. Oh, I can't wait to see what Boogeyman does. With. We got deals 1,300% damage attack to five random targets. Now that goes to 1,350. So a little bit of increased attack from Boogeyman. We also got reduces this hero's damage taken from 60% to 65%. That's somewhat decent. Did it change? It didn't. So he's still receiving 5,000 damage when uh, something has reflect on it. All right. Honestly, Rowdy Rascals, again, don't really care about. Isn't going to change enough stuff, I don't think, anyway. No, yeah. Only it changes his actual attack, which is so dumb. I wish they would have made Rowdy Rascals a little bit beefed up as well. All right. What do we got coming from Mahatma? We got 340% attack damage, and now it is 360. The amount of energy drain stays the same. We also got plus 175, so that stays the exact same as well. We got my man Ashura coming up. One of my favorite, actually my favorite hero in the game probably is Ashura. I just like everything about this guy. Once he procs, he stays proc, which is absolutely amazing. So we got deals 560% attack damage to five nearby enemy targets. Now we got 590% attack damage to six nearby enemy targets and reduces their energy by 26. So that stays the same and deflects 50% of damage. So wow. So now he not only attacks, or he attacks six targets instead of five. I would say that's a pretty beast mode upgrade all in all because not only do you get 30% more on the actual damage, you also get a whole extra target, which is really beast mode, let's say for, where can you use six heroes? You can use six heroes in Fortress Feud, right? Or Guild Wars because there's always six heroes. But also in Dungeons, if you use a Sheriff for Dungeons, which most people don't. So we got my man, Lavanica. So we got removes buffs from two enemy heroes, also deals 460%, still removes buffs, and the attack went up by 40% to 500 attack damage. Let's see, it stayed 3.5, everything else looks like it stayed the exact same. All right, what do we got next? We got Professor Ribbit, we don't really care about, but let's take a peek. Okay, reduces their attack by 25% instead of 20, that's okay. I mean, that really needs to be like, to make Professor Ribbit, that's what I mean, to make him viable in the game, you need that to go to like reduce by 50%, right? Then people would start using Professor Ribbit, but giving him five, nah, it's just not gonna get the job done. We got Storm Eater, does a stun go up? Nope. We got 1842. 19, 20%. The hero also takes 82% less damage. That's an additional 7%, which actually doesn't seem like a lot, but that's pretty beast. And we also got 12% of the damage um, of hero's max HP. So everything else stays the same for Storm Eater. We got Serena. Deals 490% attack damage to six enemy units, regaining HP equal to 20%. Now that HP gain is 25%, along with the damage going from 490% to 540%. Let's see, is there any other noticeable things? Let's see. Um, revive is reduced by 60% for three seconds. Is that all stays the same, right? Yeah, so that stays the same. And 600%. Yeah, okay, so that stays the exact same. We got, oh, Dove Keeper. How much is this attack going to go up by? Because Dove Keeper is already an absolute monster. We got deals 310% attack damage. And let's see, and the 18,000 per hit, I doubt that's going to change. Also increases Dove Keeper's attack by 45%. All right, let's see what happens. We got 340%, so 30% more attack. The damage taken in is still the exact same, and also the attack percent is the exact same as well. So only an attack buff for Dove Keeper. Let's see what we got coming from Aspirita. Looks like only an attack buff for Aspirita as well. Yeah, none of this other stuff actually changed. So it looks like mainly just a little bit of an attack buff for pretty much every single hero so far. We got deals total damage equal up to 2160. That goes to 2190 and freezes them for two seconds. There's the big buff that I was looking for right there. Sasquatch is about to be a monster now. Freezes them for two seconds. What's the cooldown on this? The cooldown six and a half seconds, which is pretty long, but just for the simple fact that he's about to freeze for two seconds instead of one second is 
pretty beast. I mean, at level 10, it's 0.9 seconds. At level 12, it's one second. And then 13, it's just a whole nother buff of a second, which is beast mode. You're going to see Sasquatch become a lot more viable in a lot more ways now because that extra second of freeze is pretty freaking big, right? All right, so we got... 310% attack damage. We also got increased seven friendly heroes attack speed and everything else that stays the same, but the actual buff itself does go up. I mean, that goes from 65% to 70% attack speed by 70% for six seconds. Um, wasn't there something else? It's only attack speed. The friendly heroes. Oh, also gain 58 energy. That changes from 55. All right, so from 55 to 58. So Athene's basically like a built-in Cupid, right? Only difference is it doesn't in, uh, increase your overall attack damage, which makes Cupid a little bit better, let's say, for dungeons because that extra attack damage is pretty freaking awesome, right? All right, and Cupid actually gives speed now, too. As far as Creation 01 goes, I mean, Creation is a beast, but not really used in the past. He unleashes two random electric bolts on enemy units. That stays at two. His overall damage does go up. And, yeah, nothing else actually changes. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. I mean, you'll see Creation 01 used a lot in Guild Wars Defense because he is auto proc and does this out some decent damage, plus gives that stun as well. All right, we got Walla Walla. Deals 430% attack damage to six random enemy units and reduces their healing effects and movement speed by 90%. Removes all their condition and increases their attack by 36%. Hopefully that attack percent goes up. All right, so we got 40, 460. Okay, heals six random enemy any, uh, friendly heroes, which is pretty nice and increases their attack by 39 percent so that actually went up by three percent walla got a pretty big buff which honestly he needs because man he is he's getting weaker and weaker the more updates that come out i feel like all right so we also got but he's still in my opinion the best healer in the game but healers just all in all in this game aren't like all to what they should be. Like Walla Walla has the lowest HP most of the time. All right, we'll talk about that a different day. All right, so we got level 12 on Skelly, which removes buffs and deals. 500% attack damage plus 44%, 44,000 fixed damage. I feel like they need to up that fixed damage by quite a bit. And uh, 2,000, I mean, that's not really much of a change. 540% HP equal to 46%, which is upped by 42. So that's not bad. Skelly got a decent buff. We got Mech Tessa. I don't really care about Mech Tessa, but we'll take a peek. Looks like the crit rate went up by 15%, which is quite a bit. I've noticed with this update also, there it might be focused a little bit more on crit rate considering how, um, well, this new talent and new insignia. I'm curious to test that out because it seems pretty freaking awesome. All right, what do we got on Rockno? We got Transforms Rockno, 260% attack. We also got 16, 80% attack. Has a 50% chance to reduce energy by 60%. Does that 50% change? No, it does not. But now it's 65 energy, so that got buffed a little bit. The overall attack got buffed as well as the HP recovery, 285%. So not bad. Rockno got a decent buff as well. We got Gunslinger coming out with, wow, deals 610%, goes straight up to 670%. We also got reducing the healing received by 100% for 2.6 seconds instead of 2.4. The War Flyers still do the same exact thing. All right, so not bad. Gunslinger obviously got a little bit of a buff as well. We got Ronin coming in. Ronin looks like his accuracy went up by 28%, which is nice. I can't wait to use... Um, oh, actually, you need more crit damage for Ronin, not actually crit, because his crit is basically 100% as well, because his crit rate's already up to by 90%, which is freaking beast mode. All right, we got Anubis coming out, 345% attack damage to a maximum of 100 enemies. So let's see, what do we got? We got reduces their attack by 50%. His overall damage did go up quite a bit, which is nice. Let's see, it reduces damage received by 80%. That stays the same. Everything else did stay the same. All right, we got Heartbreaker, 240%. What changes in Heartbreaker right here? Also restores HP equal to 55%. We got reduces their attack by 50%, which is actually pretty freaking beast. I'm a fan of that. I'm probably going to keep using Heartbreaker in Lost Battlefield now just because of that. Okay, what do we got coming from Michael? We got Deflect, 75%. We also got Heroes by 68% on the buff. That goes to 74%. That is a really big buff. I mean, that is what, 6% for Michael overall is a buff. So that not only increases your attack speed, it also increases the attack, which is quite a bit. I mean, 74%. That's really the only thing that Michael's used for is his skill. He is auto proc, so it's really nice to put revitalize on Michael. That way he procs right at the start. We also got Lil Nick coming through. 
with increases its own attack by 650 percent for 11 seconds now everything else did stay the same its freeze did not go up like sasquatch which is unfortunate so we don't really care i don't even think i really need to go over honestly any other heroes all that much just because i mean even with the buff it's not gonna change let me see is what's gonna get changed like nothing's really gonna like, all these heroes should have got buffed so much more. I wish IGG, like, had common sense sometimes. Because it's like, man, you should bring back some of these old school. Okay, I'm curious to see what Candy Cane does. So we got four random enemies. Does that go to five? No, it does not. But the energy drop goes from 65 to 75, which is nice. And also increases the dodge by an extra 2%, which really isn't that much. All right, what else do we got? We got Ghoulum. Okay, Ghoulum's nice. Reduces the damage by 65%. His overall attack honestly doesn't even matter that much. The reduction of damage is what matters the most. Let's see. We got a little bit of a point, a point one second stun on my man Dreddrake. He didn't really get too much of a buff. We got crit rate by 40% on Skull Knight, though. That's actually going to be pretty nice. However, Skull Knight just drops at an instant, especially with heroes at this day and age. Just doesn't have enough life, right? So, yeah, I think that is going to pretty much clear it up for this video. I don't really care. Uh, actually, let's take a quick peek at Cupid. What do we got on Cupid? Oh! Cupid's attack, man, increases the energy. Wait, did the energy go up? No, 75. The damage goes from 74 or 72 to 76. And the movement speed goes from 35 to 50, which is a pretty big buff, especially for dungeons. So that's actually going to be really nice. What else do we got? What does Atlanta Core do? Um, increases attack speed by 45%, really. That's what we give Atlanta Core. That's a big old oof. What does Minnow do? From 12 to 13, dealing 260. They didn't increase that much. Look at that. Minnow hardly got a buff. He goes from 260. That's because Minnow one-shots everything in the game as is. We're like, no, we can't up this guy more than 10% damage. That would be too unfair. How about Pumpkin Duke, actually? Increases everything by an extra 3%. I mean... Yeah, Punk, they're going to slowly ease Pumpkin Duke out of the game with new heroes, I feel like. But yeah, that pretty much does it for now. Make sure you guys look for the collab as well that is going to be coming up soon with Angry SA Gamer. But for now, guys, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas. Can you believe that only 32% of people that watch my videos are subscribed? That's insane. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for?